Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. So, today we're moving the Mega Mill over to the Charred Forest, and I actually know where we're going to put it to. It's kind of hard to see, but on the map north of the lake in the middle, there is uh, like, uh, like some red and black spots. That is the ruined nether portal. What if... We move the Mega Mill near that portal outside the Charred Forest, so that we can do all of our work outside the Charred Forest. And we can build- we can focus on building the factory in the forest without the Mega Mill being in the way. And, we can, uh, fix the ruined portal, and go to the nether through there. Until the portal gets moved to inside the factory, because inevitably that's what's gonna happen. And, we just so happen to have three dot. Oh yeah, that's right, I did- I did find an extra diamond somewhere. But, yeah, we have a diamond here, so, like, uh, some- some diamonds, to make a diamond pickaxe, so we're gonna make that. And real quick, what kind of thing can I get for this? Unbreaking? I gotta say, the enchantments on this table are unfortunate. I wonder, can I actually... Let me get some unbreaking on there. Let's remove that. What else can I get for this? Efficiency? Four. That could be very useful. Alright, so. It would be nice to, uh, get enough levels, but unfortunately, uh, we don't really have a XP grinder. But you know what's a good way to get XP? Mining quartz. So, maybe we can go to the nether and get some quartz there. So let's go turn off the mill. Alright, let's let's pack it up. Oh! Well, alright, this, uh, <laughs> apparently the anvil cannot be attached. I made an anvil to attach to the mega mill, but I guess that's not gonna work. We're gonna leave the cannon here just because while I did take out the gunpowder, it still has a lot of shots left, it's 86%. So if we ever want to build something kind of small, that we have a schematic for, we might as well bring it here and build it with this so we're not wasting gunpowder. Since at the moment our gunpowder reserves are kind of low, and this thing's making iron, we're going to have to leave this, uh, this thing behind for now. Don't worry, we should be able to come back for it and maybe pick it up and move it over near the portal. Alright, something that I should preface right now. I, I I don't think I've seen a single cave entrance this entire time that I've been traveling around. Even in the charred forest, I don't think I've seen a proper cave entrance. So I'm not really sure where we can like enter the underground other than the same method we already used. Alright, let's see. Where should we put the Mega Mill? I feel like here would be a good spot. All right, let's get to let's get chopping. I think it's going to be kind of floating a little bit because of the sledge here, but I think this will do. Let's place it. Ah, perfect. And it's not uh, lagging like crazy like it did last episode. Go ahead and turn on everything. And since we are going to be staying here a while, I might as well set up the deployer. There we go. And I just now realized that something that we keep forgetting about is kelp. We still haven't gone to a ocean yet. I think we're gonna do that soon. Yeah, let's put the anvil here. So what exactly do we need for this portal? This is this obsidian block is totally in the wrong spot. Put that there. There's some crying obsidian up there, which 
kind of need to uh, remove. Got it. All right. Can we do anything special with this? We make a chunk loader. Okay. Not bad, I guess. This is too dangerous to get, so we're not going to go for it. But you know what? We're not going to worry about that. We need to find a cave. And honestly, I have no idea where to look. Alright. Let's make a bunch of planks. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the exact same thing we did the first time. We're going to just dig down and see what happens. Hopefully we hit a cave like we did the first time. Or at the very least, hopefully we'll you know, dig down and maybe we'll hear a zombie or something. Alright, there we go. Got uh, 69 ladders. Where's a good spot to put this, I wonder? Well, I already hear a zombie, so we might not even need all this. Alright, I guess here would be a good spot. Now, I believe that this mod pack has a special mod called No Lakes. Which is why we haven't seen a single pond of water this entire time. So, these zombies have to be coming from a cave. Like, they can't be just in, like, a little water pocket. There's gotta be a cave around here. Maybe it's down more. No. There's no way it'd be up. It is up! Hunt the undead. What? Oh! Oh! I'm on fire! Cool. So what's up with this little underground pocket? Oh, that's all it is. Either way, this isn't a bad spot to put a uh, bunch of ladders. We'll start going down here. Whoa! 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 <laughs> that, that, actually, that actually scared me a little. I got a rope arrow. What? What does that do? Nothing! What the? Oh, a mine shaft! Well, oh, it's in the middle though. What the hell? All right. I guess we don't need to bring a cave spider spawner uh, <laughs> over here after all. There might already be one here. All right, you know what? Let's explore. Seems pretty uh, barren down here. Oh, there's copper. Yeah, this this mine shaft is actually pretty high up. It's not really diamond level, you know. Oh, there's an enderman. Hello, good sir. Might as well. Nice. So far, this mine shaft doesn't seem very promising. It seems very uh, empty. It's like barely any ores anywhere. All right, that over there looks like it could be the entrance. There's broken stone here. Oh! A, a zombie spawner. What the hell? Alright. Might as well give this a look-see. Like flax seeds! Flax seeds! Yep, uh, there's a dungeon drop there. This dungeon stuff isn't really all that great. What, what can I use this shell it for? Not a lot. There's a zombie spawner. Well, that's... that's nice. Maybe I could use that for a XP grind. I forgot about it already. So there's nothing over there. <gasps> oh! Alright, 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 alright.
Alright, 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 alright. We found a cave. Like a cave cave. Wow. I can barely see at all. It's just darkness. I see a little bit of light over there. And I see some enchanted bows. But other than that, it's just darkness. <gasps> ah! Oh! Cool. Okay. All right, but that was a fun little adventure. I, I wasn't expecting to hit a mine shaft. In fact, I was expecting to land into one of those giant caves, which technically we did do, but... Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh dear. <laughs> well, that's... That's not good. I can't put it out or I'll catch fire. As long as the fire doesn't spread to the... Mega Mill, I, I, I don't care. Alright, there we go. That should stop it. It should just finish off what's here. Let me real quick check what it is that we need. Four, five, six, seven. We need seven obsidian. Well, you know what? Well, why not just get it from here? There's four right there. There we go. I, I can't believe I didn't think of that. I'm actually kind of frustrated that I didn't think of that. Alright. And I left my, uh, flint and steel up in the mega mill. I'll, I'll, be, I'll go up there. Alright. Let's go in. Shield up, too. You know what? I don't even have a weapon. I'm... <laughs> Man, I'm really jumping the gun here. Now, let's go to the nether. With my shield up. Let's see what happens. Basalt Delta. This is the first time I'm so happy to see a Basalt Delta. It seems like we're in a pretty isolated little spot, too. There have been times when I've been... Going to the nether, and I'm on an island floating in the middle of the lava ocean, and it's kind of frustrating. But let's let's give us a quick look around. All right, there's a uh, overgrowth biome over there. Hmm. Let's get rid of this guy. What? That's not like a blaze. What the hell is that thing? It looks like a blaze, but it's like darker. Alright, let's get rid of these things. Because unlike slimes, they can still hurt if they're little. Right, what the hell is that? It came from this direction. I'm not crazy, right? I saw it come from over here. Alright, maybe I am crazy. Oh, nope, there it is! What is that thing? It doesn't even show that it's charged up. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, let's heal up. Because that thing could be a problem. So, 
it's called a, a blaz or something along those lines. Get rid of these things. Alright, I see a warped woods over there, and a magma slime island. A warped woods would have been an incredible place to spawn in. Ooh, there's hellbark here. Hellbark would make for a good wood type to build the factory out of. Especially since we can't use charred wood, since it's so limited. Alright, I'm not seeing anything worthwhile. Alright, one has to have very delicate footsteps. And they, this kind of biome uh, is a long drop. Let's, let's fix that drop. Fix that as well. Okay. Alright, bad news. I don't see a fortress. Down there is the portal. Alright, um, yeah, this seems pretty isolated. I guess we could try going over there. We could climb up those vines. If I remember correctly, hoglins tend to spawn in this biome a lot, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> ah! Look at that, cooked pork chop. I don't see a fortress from here, either. Yeah, if there's no nearby fortress, we might have to invest in one of those structure compasses. Oh, boy. Let's do some of this. There's a guest, and I think it sees me. Cool, I got some Hellbark sapling. Very good. Alright. We're gonna head back. I don't wanna... fall in lava or anything crazy. Cause, I don't know if you noticed, but I have very little armor on. I, I came into this area a little underprepared. Alright, I have some quartz, but not a lot, because I'm in a basalt delta. We're gonna head back home. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Thank you. Alright, I didn't actually do too much this episode, so... I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna do something I should have done from the very beginning. Okay. Alright, uh, there's a beach in this direction, which means there's an ocean, which means we can get some kelp. However, oddly enough, the it's pointing us in this direction. Before, I believe the closest ocean was that direction. But now that we're over here, at spawn, it's in that direction. So, I guess we are going to go that way. So, let's make our way over. Gotta cut through our favorite area. Making some pretty good progress. We're already like a third of the way there. Is it? Okay, it's a maple tree. I thought that was netherrack. <laughs> Have some berries. Oh! There's some kind of building here. 
some bombs. Cloth? What's cloth good for? Oh, just some stuff and things. I will take the food and all the whatnots. And it looks like this is a mineshaft little thing, so I'll, I'll come on down here. Oh, there's a split. Okay. Part of the sea, look at that. Got some prismarine, cooked salmon. What was that? A quartz arrow. Huh. Got some gold. Some coins. Name tag. Is that meat? Oh, it's a ruby. Huh. What's over... What's over here? Cinder flower. Wow. Oh! Wow, there's actually even more goodies here! Alright! More coins. A painting. What kind of sapling is that? A flowering oak. That could look nice. Is that a fur? It's a redwood. Oh. Ugh. Redwood. Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. It's got a millstone. And a windmill bearing. It's supposed to be an old windmill. That's pretty neat. Something I haven't seen yet is a dungeon sprawl. I, I, I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but it's just something I've always called it. Because it's, it's like a dungeon, but very sprawling. Like, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's very maze-like. And you and they are identified in the oh my god, there's a witch there. Why is there a witch just in the middle of the forest? Anyway. Yeah, like they you can identify them by uh these towers that poke up out of the ground. Ooh, I think we found the ocean. But I haven't seen any of those towers. Is that a bee? What was that? Might have been a bird. You're still following me? Back off! What a jerk. Slimy leaves. Wonder if I can get a sapling. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, these are different saplings. What do I give up? I will give up the sticks. Next thing I'm going to give up is probably the iron pick. Look at this. We got kelp! Perfect. Just perfect. That's it. This is, this is exactly what I needed. So now we can, we can automate andesite a little bit better. Actually, I'm curious. While we're out here, well, we might as well look. No, it's 2,000 blocks that way. How about a Badlands? It's also 2,000 blocks that way. How about a Mushroom Field? Very far away. <laughs> 
Alright, then how about... Charred Forest. 320! Over here! Might, might as well hang out there for the night where uh, nothing spawns and tries to kill me. Here it is! Charred Forest. I think there's a house here as well. There is... Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> Might as well. I guess I'll switch out the berries for the buddy card. It's a skeleton rib. Can I don't think there's really anything valuable with, we can do with that. Eh, might as well. Let's look down here. Oh, that's one of the ones that split, huh? I have gotten so much iron from doing this. From what is essentially grave robbing. Is that a skull? Ooh! <laughs> I'll wear that. A golden apple. Oh my goodness. Oh, we don't need this quartz arrow. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this is why I don't trust these mine carts. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna- I'm not falling for that. I'm not going in there. Is there- Oh, wow, there's a cave in there. Cool. Wow, so there's a second shard forest, huh? I thought these things were supposed to be rare. And yet, here's another one, right here. Alright, it's pretty much daytime. Let's head back. Now, I don't use maps too often, but when you're really far away from the map you're looking at, isn't the dot, your, your little white dot, supposed to be smaller? Does this mean that, according to the map, we're not actually all that far away? I'm pretty sure we're at least uh, 1,500 blocks away from uh, <laughs> from the Mega Mill right now. Alright! We have returned to, to the Mega Mill. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and start putting some of this stuff away. Mm-hmm. Alright. I like that. Put that away. So, I think uh, that'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. It looks like we've gotten quite a bit done. We found another cave. This one being, uh, over here at spawn. We went to the nether and gave it a good look around. And now we have kelp. So here's... Alright, alright. Originally, I was just gonna start deforesting the charred forest a little bit. And, uh... Maybe we can start collecting some blackstone, start making the factory. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought... I honestly don't know everything that goes into this factory. So, I'm thinking, what if, instead of immediately jumping to the charred forest, we build, at the very least, our andesite machine, uh, factory here. Like, somewhere just here. Like, we, we go ahead and remove all these trees, we make, like, a little building for it. And, as we progress, and we start to learn, like, what all the, like, what needs all these, uh, kinetic mechanisms, precision mechanisms, we start actually making the big factory, because I kind of want this giant blackstone factory in the middle of the charred forest that is designed to make calculation mechanisms, which is the final th product. And I figured, hey, you know what? 
What if before we jump right to that, we start by making a bunch of little factories, like dot one here, over here, over here. They all are dedicated to making, like, the mechanisms and everything. And once we get far enough in the chapters, we'll go ahead and start basically moving all these contraptions into one single spot in the chart for us. How's that sound? I feel like that sounds a bit more feasible, because I think if we jump straight into trying to make a massive factory, it's just going to be a big mess, because we don't have access to all the logistics and everything. We, the only thing we would have access to is uh, conveyor belts, and that might not be the most efficient way to transport items, you know? There might be better ways that we just don't know about yet. So next episode, I think we're finally going to get started on that andesite factory. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And remember, the Wasteland is watching. See ya.